Hey guys, got a nice big box today from Nima Studios. I know what's in here, but I know you don't. Do you want to join me in opening it? Now oh guys, you'll have to excuse the shoddy backdrop. It's about the best I can do for this, because I'm at home. This is something that's going to be for me. Don't know where I'm going to display them though. Let's um, slice our way into this box, maybe through my fingers as well. Oh, they looked to be very well packaged anyway. And they did promise me that they would be. Indeed, we did, we did, we did. So, Nima Studios, they do some fantastic stuff. Uh, you might have seen the fiendish feet figures, the yogurt pops. You might have seen grot bags. You might have seen the trapdoor figures. They're some of the more recent ones, they've done other stuff as well. Loads and loads of other stuff. Well that's cool, we've got one of each line here. That's a good one to start off with. Wicked! Look at that! I will give you some close-ups of these at the end as well. Uh, so yeah, as you might guess, Nima are now doing a run on droids. Oh, we've got a crushed one. Oh. I'll have a word of it. Might be able to get a replacement. If not, I can have him loose, can't I? We Wicket and CZ from. Size from? CZ from? I don't know. Can't say I watched that much of um, the Ewoks and the Droid series. I've caught a little bit of each. I love the toys, I love the animated style of the toys from them. But the cartoons leave a lot to be desired, don't they? Another one of each here. Oh, <laughs> Duloc Scout. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And Blix. Which, the original one of these... Oh, oh, oh. Bank loan kind of money. Bank loan money. So he's done me a whole wave of both of what he's done on the Ewoks and the Droids. And I think he did say that there was a variant Uncle Gundy in there. There it is. That was good timing, wasn't it? So there's Uncle Gundy. And that's the variant of it. The holographic variant. I want the Cheesecake Creations. Treat it Cheesecake Customs. Jan Tosh. Mall. George Dusat. C3PO. I love how the colours on the plastic of these, there's no way you're ever going to get these confused with the originals. So anyone out there that's foaming at the mouth, oh, you're devaluing the originals. No, you're not. No, you're not. You can't even get the originals. They go for silly, silly prices. These are just a good bit of fun. Uncle Gundy prototype. One of my favourites, just because of the colours used there. Low grey, he what made some man. I love the pink legs. I say I will, I will give you close-ups on these once I've finished unboxing. Oh, look at R2. <laughs> T1. 
silk from. Kez Iban. He looks like he could be related to uh, Yakface, doesn't he? But with a bit of hair. This must be the same species, I'm honestly not sure. Fal Jordan. That's the box empty. So I'll tidy them all up and let you have a look at them. D2. Give you some nice close-ups. I don't plan on opening these. They're, they're an art type thing, aren't they, with them being customs? And they are. So you can see there's no way whatsoever that anyone would get those confused with an original. I'm going to imagine as well out of the packet that they, they probably feel different as well. And is the quality, quality as good as Kenner's was? I severely doubt it, but they're not meant to be. These are, well, there's something different. Something very different. And they're a great opportunity for anyone who would like a representation of the droids figure, but can't afford to pay those outlandish prices. And remember, each one of these is handmade as well. I say handmade. I'm painted, certainly. One of the things I quite like about them is the fact that they look like bootlegs, which of course they are, in a way. They all have the same, well, I would say the same card back, they, not, not just the back of the card, but the artwork on the front of the card is the same. The only difference is the, the colour band and the name of the character. Right, this is the only one that has turned up with a, a bit of a crushed bubble, unfortunately. I'll have a word with Nick and see whether or not there's anything that he can do about that. Nick's the fantastic guy who's in charge at NEMA Studios. A big, big character that, isn't it? I'll switch hands here. Move over to Vlix, which if I'm right, uh, if I remember rightly, rather, uh, the original version of this, was it only released in Mexico? I think it was, which is one of the reasons why it's so damned expensive. I, d I don't know if he's taken moulds from the original figures or whether or not he's attempted fresh sculpts himself. I'm thinking that he's probably taken moulds from the original figures. But I'm I'm all I'm more happy in the fact that he hasn't tried to <sighs> tried to duplicate the original figures. He hasn't tried to make out that these are the originals at all. It's like he, he knows what these are and he's not trying to pretend that they're something else. I know there's a lot of haters out there for this kind of thing. 
you know what? I don't care. I think that's really, really cool. I'll be looking forward to these coming as well. I'll be quite, um, quite excited for them. I have to say as well, another thing is the card is really, really thick. It's very, very thick. You've, you've no worries about that bending and getting a crease. I didn't know there was going to be three variants of Uncle Gundy. It did tell me that there were two. He might have mentioned the prototype, but I can't remember him mentioning the prototype. I'll show you the prototype side by side with that one. So that you can, you can see the difference. I mean, obviously it's just a, a different paint job. I'm, I'm not vastly up on the Droids and Ewok series of toys, so I, I'm I'm only guessing that the prototype is images that have been revealed at some point that is based that paint job on. I do like the holographic on that. Obviously, we never got any holographic figures in the original line, did we? ones. I find that one quite reminiscent, different colours, but I find it quite reminiscent of the Disneyland wicket that they did with the yellow hood, which is another figure I'm quite fond of. And that's the art on the back. the pink that I was referring to of his legs. Different colour to the rest of his, um, like his hands and his face. And there's the Duloc. Now uh, I'm hoping that he's going to carry on and do more from this line. Because I, I'm sure there were a lot more than just three Ewoks figures in the original original lineup. I know he's done some figures from the from the two Ewok movies, and I will be getting those at some point as well because I'm quite impressed with these. I know there's going to be a lot of people screaming at the camera, screaming at the screens now that these are not original, the quality is poor, it's this, it's that. So the same people would go out and buy Uze figures. Okay. I think they're, they're going to make for quite a nice display. I haven't decided how I'm going to display them yet. Obviously I can't hang them, so I don't know if you've noticed, but not a single one of them has... A hole to hang it from. They're quite literally unpunched, as in not even die cut to have a hole there. But I will put links in the descriptions and in the comments for where you can buy these or who to contact in order to try and buy them from, and links to their social media as well. Thank you very much to Nima Studios and I look forward to my next purchase. Bye.